to the country of left somewhere, but complained back, and the county sent the complainant to the court with a swimming order. When I went to that court with a uh, person that had the treat, the system was cancelled. They closed the case off, so nothing happened. Only in the last years, it's very clear that nobody can make those pathetic, insulated individual make their, them treat their or trim their vegetation. And most of them are common sepsis, like oh, oh year, oh year trees closing, stopping the sun. And they're getting taller and more condensed. Well, majority of residents profit of barracks and that in their home. That means when you have a winter night in the winter, you have a very cold home. The first thing you welcome is the sun to regain the warmth in the morning. And it's beautiful. The sun is in New Zealand very hot first thing in the morning, in the middle of the winter. And I do not <coughs> All those people similar to me don't get the warmth of the sun. But we have to use about four to eight kilowatts <coughs> of energy to make up the loss of that sun. The shaded victims have to consume energy to replace the lack of sunlight. The reason I am here is to communicate with someone who can and will make Hannah and the others understand the injustice of the uh, lack of the gas of God given sun, air and water free to all equally. And she has to change the law to justify the balance between the residents. I made this up yesterday. And thank you, Sir Ryan. We appreciate this ongoing problem and Certainly that we have a different because, uh, and from Councillor Brucine, an article that you talk about, the council trees do it, we have the power to do it, and we do it. In terms of private property, as you have seen from the letters, and how you get Amy Adams or the Green Party uh, or to, to recognise all that, we will continue to try to find a, a, a way forward. We don't have the power. Um, and uh, if you can list the plan in terms of building there is there, but trees don't, we look at in terms of bylaws, if we could actually enforce those. And of course, any bylaw is not retrospective, so that gave us problems as well. We appreciate the problem, and we will continue to raise that, and I raised it with the new electoral secretary for um, our local MP and to continue to sort of do that. Um, uh, and as Amy Adams has said, uh, and quoting the property act, but of course that involves huge cost, and of course to do anything there, uh, who pays for those trees to be done it becomes difficult. We appreciate your problem and understand your concern but it is one of legislation that we will continue. But of course, any legislation is not retrospective, and that's the problem. I know your problem, and I know you sympathize with me, but that doesn't change. No, me. I know, and I have And that. I will write again to the Parliament. I read a letter to every one of them, and they all direct the letters to Eddie Adams, which is the na uh, national uh, MP of the uh, environment. And she is the person that can make a change if she's willing to. 
And when she does recognize that the sun exists, the sun does exist and it's been created for everybody equally. And they shouldn't allow or permit somebody to take somebody's son away from a neighbor. That shouldn't be allowed. That's a mistake. That's wrong. It's never been right ever. And I think it's so wrong. Everybody sympathizes. But who is going to do something? I don't mind going to Wellington and speak to her personally. But what good would it be? I need support of people like you that are supposed to look out for the people. But we are all for that. Number 12, Duke uh, Street. There are three houses. Uh, in the shade of one section of the back, where the trees are going on and on and on for 40 years. And it's still there. She rests and she complains and she cries, but nothing is being done ever. I, 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 it's I, I, wrong. And I can't see how they can keep on going to do it wrong. And it that it was just a quick, I think. Is this the Honourable Nick Smith now the Minister of the Environment? So I think the Minister has actually changed from Amy Adams to the Honourable Nick Smith uh, as the Minister of the Environment. But I will check up that for you and let you know who the, the current Minister of the Environment is. So that the Councillor McGill. Yes, Mr. Swart. Um, <clears throat> you said you took the matter to the district court and then it, it, was it, it, it never. It was council. Council took the matter to the district court. I was there with the three owner sitting here, I was sitting there, and the medium was there. Mediator? Mediator. Mm -hmm. That was the way that No. No. But it was council. No, I got the letter. I got the letter that it was council. And then I had been to the court. And also, that turned into nothing. What? When you say it turned into nothing, did the court not make a decision in your favour? I wasn't notified when the meeting was going to be on. Well, and, and so you, you have that right to go to the district court to. to um, and but maybe you should initiate that. Yeah, but can I rectify this? Why should I? do anything about somebody that somebody else, or you people, why should I mingle my business with yours? I mean, number 12, uh, uh, Duke Street, they are victims of those thieves too. But why? I'm a victim. I, I'm not anybody. I'm nobody. And it's not for me to go to the court or make trouble or spend money for something I should have free. God has given the sun free to everybody equally. And no one can um, uh, uh, allow, permit somebody to do that. You see, I mean, if you say, uh, I'm, I'm whoever you are, and you drive two, 300 kilometers an hour on the road, and the cops stop you and say, oh, but I'm, I'm somebody special, I can do that. Nobody can do that. The law should be the law, and the law is not there. No one is protected. There's no one can do anything. You go to court, the judge, the, anybody cannot change the, the law. Yes, but they can. They can uh, order the removal or the trimming of the tree. Only if they got another excuse than the sun. <laughs> Only if they got another excuse. If so, that's why you pay so much to a lawyer, because he's got to find another excuse, a branch or the size of the wind or something. Somebody has to find them other excuse than the sun, because the sun is not a reason to cut the tree down. That is the law, as it is now. Councillor Bell. Um, I was just going to jump in.
Georgia. Nobody's in here.